What's up guys, and welcome to Simple Review, the series where I, Pepper Homie, briefly play a game, review it, and I keep it simple. Let's get into it. Bamarang is a fast-paced boomerang fighting game. When you play this game, you just have the option of playing in one game mode. And in this game mode, you have the option of playing with up to four players locally. And the game offers the option to play in teams, so if you want to have teams with your four players, you can do that. When competing against each other, you're basically just throwing a boomerang at each other and attempting to collect 30 tokens that are collected around the arena. If you die in any way or get hit by a boomerang, you will lose some of your tokens that you have collected. And this is pretty much the main gameplay experience that you'll have. There are over 20 map variations, and this is all highlighted by the very well done art style in this game. And now, from my experience when playing this game, I definitely had a very good time playing this. The combat mechanics and place in this game definitely kept things interesting when I competed against my friend. You are able to charge your boomerang to throw it short distances or long distances, and this kept the opponent on their feet when I played against them. The real highlight in this game, however, was the implementation of this very abstract art style and music that really amplified the whole experience. All that aside though, this game really does not offer anything else on top of that. You are just getting a simple boomerang fighting game, and it's a bit disappointing to see this game offer an amazing art style and not run with that to implement some other features to this game. This results in a pretty bare bone experience when compared to other boomerang fighting games, such as Boomerang Fu. Normally, I don't like to compare games but in the end, these games are very similar and offer the same experience. But Bamarang went a more serious competitive route where Boomerang Fu went for a more lighthearted party game mode style experience. So now, with all that being said, I'd have to give this game 8 pepperonis out of 10. This game offers a very well polished gameplay experience, but fails to provide other content besides the core game mode which results in this game feeling a little bare bones. So if you guys like the content, uh, drop a sub, drop a like, and I'll see you guys in the next one.